안녕하세요. Korean Dream with J. Dream, j r i m 입니다 Today, I'll introduce family words. This is inspired by my niece, Naoni. If you are following my Instagram, you've met her already, probably seen her multiple times. Let's put Naoni in the center, and then we'll draw the family tree. Her name is Naeun, and it ends there. But you probably heard me saying Naeuni. When you refer to somebody whose name ends with a consonant on the bottom, Pachim, like her name does, Naeun, the person same age or younger than you, instead of just Naeun, Korean people say Naeuni. So my name is Jerim. My friends do not refer to me as Jerim did this. They'll say Jerimi did this. And this doesn't apply to the names that end with vowel. Vowel names just end it there. So think of it as like Naeuni, as like a nickname. Okay, 여기 Naeuni가 있어요. 그리고 엄마, 아빠가 있어요. 엄마, 어머니, 아빠, 아버지. I've never ever called my parents 어머니 or 아버지. In modern days, it's a lot more casual. To her mom and dad, 딸이에요. 나은이는 딸이에요. Son, 아들, 아들. 나은이's mom has an older sister. For a woman, an older sister is 언니. 나은이 엄마한테는 언니가 한명 있어요. 나은이 아빠도 누나가 한명 있어요. So for men, older sister is 누나. So mom's sister is 이모. Dad's sister is 고모. 저는 나은이 고모예요. To 나은이's 이모 and me, they are our younger sibling, younger brother and younger sister. 동생, 동생. So when it's a younger sibling, we don't really distinguish what gender they are, but you can just put 남 or 여. 남 means male or men. 여 means female or woman. 남동생, younger brother. 여동생, younger sister. 엄마, 여동생. 엄마, 언니는 이모예요. 아빠의 여동생. 또는 누나는 고모예요. What about 이모 and 고모's husbands? We use the Chinese character meaning husband. 부, 부. 이모, 부. 이모's husband. 고모, 부. 고모's husband. 제 남편은 나은이의 고모부예요. 그런데 나은이 엄마, 아빠는 남자 형제가 없어요. Brothers 형제. 형 is older brother. 제 is Chinese character younger brother. 형제 is also used to just refer to siblings regardless of their gender. So if you want to specify, even if it's redundant technically, you'll hear people saying 남자 형제. Male siblings. Older brother for women is 오빠. Older brother for men is 형. And younger brother is, again, 남동생. Those brothers of your parents are called 삼촌. 삼촌. This is very interesting. So the relationship between parents and the children are considered the closest in this world. And it's 일촌. One tie. One unit. 일촌. And siblings are 이촌, 이촌. So 일촌 to your parents and then their sibling, 이촌, add it, it becomes 삼촌, 삼촌. Three ties, three units. That's why the uncle is 삼촌. If the uncle has children, which is another one tie, one unit, so the cousin becomes, what's the number after 삼? 사, right? 사촌. That's why you call your cousin in Korean 사촌. 삼촌 uncle, 사촌 their kids. 삼촌's wives, 숙모, 숙모. Are we going to distinguish maternal versus paternal? Yes. 
I personally really don't like this word, but maternal uh, relatives are called with this prefix 외, which is the Chinese character meaning outside. In the old patriarchal society, mom's side relatives are considered outside one's family. One thing to clarify is, are people not close to mom's side these days? No, that's absolutely not true. I am actually closer to my mom's size uncles than my dad's size. So it's not the case in modern Korean. And also, will I address my maternal uncles? 외삼촌? No, I'll just call them 삼촌. But when I'm talking to somebody else about my uncles, and I want to specify I'm talking about my maternal uncles, then I will say 외삼촌. Dad's brother, 삼촌. Mom's brother, 외삼촌. Dad's brother's wife, 숙모. Mom's brother's wife, 외숙모. Their children, 사촌. Cousin, mom's side, 외사촌. And dad's brothers are further specified. An older brother of your dad is also called 큰 아빠, big dad, or 큰 아버지, big father. And their wife is 큰 엄마, big mom, or 큰 어머니, big mother. And your dad's younger brothers are called 작은 아빠, small dad, or 작은 아버지, small father. And their wife, 작은 엄마, small mom, 작은 어머니, small mother. And this does not apply to your maternal uncles. Remember, 형제 was either brothers or sibling in general. What about sisters? 자매, 자매. 나은이 엄마하고 언니는 자매예요. 나은이 아빠하고 누나. 저는 남매예요. 남 as in male or man and 매 sister 남매. All right, let's go up. Grandparents. Grandmother or grandma 할머니. Grandpa 할아버지. Can you guess maternal grandma and grandpa then? 외할머니 외할아버지. Again, I really don't like this way, but I have to teach you this. I personally love how my mom referred to my grandmas. She referred to them by their names. 김화자 할머니, 이두리 할머니. So she used the names to refer to grandmas. I loved it. For uncles or aunts, 나은이 is a niece. So nephew or niece, 조카. Again, for younger family members, you don't necessarily specify the gender, interestingly, like when we said 동생. So both nephew and niece are 조카. 나은이는 제 조카예요. My brother and my sister-in-law are parents to her. 부모. But 부모 is just neutral word for parents. Whereas when you want to refer to your parents with some respect and love, just 부모 sounds rude. You'll put 님, like you hear in 선생님, 대표님, 부모님. Somebody else's parents, my parents, with the respect is 부모님. And 나니 for them is 자녀, sons and daughters, so one's children, or 자식 which is also one's children. And for grandparents, 나니 is 손녀. So you can say 손자, grandson, 손녀, granddaughter, or 손주, just grandchildren. Listening practice. 나은이는 제 조카예요. 저는 나은이의 고모예요. 나은이 엄마, 아빠는 언니랑 누나가 한 명씩 있어요. 그래서 나은이는 이모하고 고모가 있어요. 그런데 삼촌은 없어요. 그래서 숙모도 없어요. 저희 부모님은 나은이의 할아버지, 할머니예요. 그리고 엄마의 형제, 엄마의 부모님은 외자를 써요. 외삼촌, 외숙모, 외할아버지, 외할머니, 외사촌이라고 해요. How about your language? 
Does your language specify maternal and paternal? Is it changing? Please leave in the comments. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll come back with another video. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요.